back with another itemized price list template for you guys this is the digital version this is completely digital so this means it'll actually add up everything you need in each sale to get the price at the bottom so it'll add it'll subtract all of that good stuff it even multiplies where you need it to multiply so if you're horrible with math or you just don't feel like going through the trouble of like adding things up and you got a client in your chair and your next client is already waiting and you're ready to get everybody in and out and you want to make sure everybody is getting charged correctly this is probably a better idea for you you can use this on an ipad you can use this on a tablet you can even use it on your phone as long as you download the google sheets app you can use it right in there um, I did this on Google Sheets because Excel is sometimes a little wonky for people, especially if you're not very familiar with Excel. And then you have to pay for Microsoft Excel unless you have it through your job or your school or something. So Google Sheets is completely free. That's why this is made on Sheets. The formulas are already in there for you, so you don't have to do anything special. You just have to enter the numbers in, and I'm about to show you that right now. So for this example, let's say our client is going to get a freestyle full set. They're going to get a luxury pedicure. They're going to add two bling nails. They also got a referral discount for sending somebody to you. And then they paid a deposit for their appointment. That is credited towards their total at the end of their service. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to just go through it and fill in everything, right? So they got a freestyle full set for 120 they got a luxury pedicure for 55 they got two bling nails now this is what i mean by it'll multiply for you so we're going to put two there and look at that it just already did the ten dollars because you know we set the price as five you can adjust the price um and i'll do another tutorial on if you want to adjust pricing so you can adjust the formulas i'll do a tutorial on that but like i said that's a little um, I don't want to say it's advanced. It's just if you're not really savvy with these kind of things, it can be a little, you know, annoying. So I will do a tutorial on that. If you don't want to use that, that, um, that line, you can always delete it. And we can go over that later too. But back to our example, the person paid a deposit. So let's say the deposit was $15. I'm just going to enter the $15 in there. And then they got a $5 referral discount. Um, so you don't have to enter those decimals or dollar signs. You can just literally put the number in there and it'll do it. So I'm just, um, you know, doing a five there and then hitting enter. Everything at the bottom is automatically tallying everything up. So it's, this contains everything that we typed in as far as their services that they received. This contains everything that they are getting discounted. So they pay the deposit, it's taking off $15. They have a referral discount, it's taking off the $5. That's where they came up with the $20. And then their final total is $165. So it's added everything up for you. If, you know, if you're discussing this before their appointment and they're like, oh, okay, I didn't really want to pay. I don't think I want, I don't think I want that. Let me change it into, I don't want a freestyle. Let's go and make that a, let's make it a basic full set. I'm on a budget. So now their, their total is $60 less and they did it automatically down here. They can say, hey, I'm really on a budget. I don't even want these bling nails. Let me just change that to zero. And then we're getting it down even lower. Oh, maybe I should just do a basic pedicure. So I'm going to change that to 35 and take off that 55. Now their balance is only $75. So they went from 165 to 75. And this can be amazing for if you want to, um, you know, if your client comes to you and they're like, I'm really on a budget. You can use this to figure out how you can get them kind of what they want within their budget. And it also shows them like, you know, when you get to the chair and you're throwing all these things on and you're just throwing it in the bag and then it all starts to add up, they can see visually like, okay, ooh, okay, I wasn't really trying to spend 165. Let me back it up and take some of this stuff off. So that's how that works. Um, now, what I was saying earlier is if you have add-ons here that you don't even want, you can just delete that whole line or you can, you know, change it to whatever you want to change it to. But... You don't have to keep all of these the way they are. This can be used for any, um, any service provider. 
So if you do hair, you can sh literally change this and say, hey, I'm gonna make this, um, you know, hair color services or something like that. Sorry. And then you would just proceed to do the same thing. Now I will say the gray areas here, these are here for the purpose of just kind of keeping it in your mind what your services are priced at. I know people are like, oh, you should know what your services are. But if you offer a lot of different things, you may forget what your you know, typical price is for that. Or if you have recently changed your pricing, you may be used to saying, okay, an overlay is 35 because it's been 35 for years, but you recently changed it to 45 and you're just working, you're in the moment. You're not thinking to say, oh wait, it did go up to 45. This is your visual reminder that the price is $45. So when you're adding it on, you can do that. And you can also do this if you decide you wanna give your client some money off. So, you know, they can see it and be like, hey, I know an overlay is usually 45, but, um, you know, I know you said, you know, you're going through some stuff or you're, you've been a loyal client. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to you for 35. And, you know, you can just put that in there just like that. I'm not sure why that font is a different font, um, but we're going to fix it right quick. Um, but yeah, so you can adjust all of that and these gray areas are just to remind you what the pricing is i did not put it, it for a deposit referral loyalty and gift card because that would be up to you your deposit may be the same for every service it could be different so it'd be up to you to um you know when you go in here and edit you can act, you can edit this too so don't think that everything here is just stuck here you can edit this as much as you need to edit it and you can go in there and say hey my deposit is twenty dollars no matter what highlight that and turn it gray just so you know um you know and that way when you're doing it you can always just type that in there your referral discount that could be a percentage that could be um you know ten dollars however much you decide loyalty reward same thing and what a loyalty reward is is basically like someone comes to you and you say hey your every sixth appointment you get ten dollars off um, so after they come to you six times, they'll get 10 bucks off. And then you could say, Hey, I'm going to do this. And this is kind of a good way, you know, for clients to also manage their budget. If they want to say, Hey, I know I'm getting a really expensive set the next time I go in there. So I'm going to save my loyalty reward for that. You know, I'm going to use my loyalty reward on that appointment. Um, I know I got a referral discount. I bought myself a you know $25 gift card six months ago just to make sure I could have my birthday set the way I wanted it. Um, so now I'm going to apply all of that and <laughs> get all of my stuff. And instead of it being $155, it took it down to $95. So that's also a way you can work, work with it and help clients get in on the, you know, on the process because this is for you and it's for them too. Um, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, so that's how you use it digitally. You can also, this is something I just added, but I wanna do like a quick little tutorial on it, um, just so you know. You don't have to do this, it's completely optional, but if you're gonna use this on your iPad, your iPhone, whatever, you can hyperlink things and take it right to your booking site. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. On the top bar here, there is a link, a insert link little button. So you click that link and then you would just um, type in your booking site and hit apply, right? So now this is gonna show up on your phone and then when you are booking your client and they're at the end of their appointment and you can say, hey, are you, you wanna book your next one? you have a hyperlink in there and you can literally just go ahead and go right to it. And it's gonna redirect you to the booking site and you can book it for them. Um, they can book it however you wanna do it. If you wanna make sure they pay a deposit, they can book it and you can hand the iPad right to them. Or you, know, you can start the process and then just say, hey, do you want me to charge the card on file for the deposit? Or if you don't wanna take a deposit, you don't have to do it. 
Um, so yeah, that I think is something that's really cool. It'll also remind you to ask them again because anybody will tell you if you're trying to build clientele in a steady clientele, rebooking them before they leave your chair is always the best option. They may not always say yes, but they can't say yes if you don't ask the question. So that's what how you would do that. Now, I will say that this digital itemized priceless template is still printable. So you can print this out. I will include a PDF version of it in there for you with check boxes. So you can just literally click into each box and check it. Um, and, and that's how, you know, you can do that how you want to do it. Um, but you can also print this out if you want to write on it. You can laminate it the same way the other one works. You can laminate it, um, you know, and you can also just use it as a PDF on your iPad. So how do you print it out? To where it shows up properly because remember this is basically an excel sheet this is a you know this is what this template is built in so you don't really want it to have all these lines you want it to look as nice as possible when you're printing it out real time as i do this so one more time i'm going to go to file wait i'm going to select my sales that i want to print and i'm still printing this out even though you can't click or hyperlink in a printed out document I'm still printing this out because it's a good way to remind you to ask your client at the end, do they want to book for their next time? So file, print, you're going to select selected sales and then everything else should be the same, but just to reiterate, portrait mode, fit it to the page, narrow margins, um, and don't show grid lines unless you really want to see them. I don't want to see them. Um, and then you're gonna click the blue button up here. It says next, it's just cut off. Save as PDF, save. We're gonna save it to our desktop. Yes, I wanna replace it. And I'm gonna open it up and make it smaller so you guys can see. And look at that, it is a clean copy. You just go ahead and start writing on it. Either um, print it out uh, print it out or if you want to just use it as a PDF on your iPad You can also do that and I will put a little um, a little Snippet of me writing on it with the Apple pencil on the iPad in the corner Just so you can see the two different ways you can use it But yeah, so that's pretty much it. That is the itemized receipt template the digital version that adds everything up for you if you are interested in this version it is available now on brangerart.com and it is also on sale for the rest of the month of february so if you use the code love you uh, you can save 50 percent off of the actual price and that is good through february 28 2023 otherwise i will see you guys on the next video